understand the deputy was taken to Banners Main Hospital. News 4 Tucson's Jafet Serrato is live near that area where deputies are searching for that suspect. Jafet. Sean and Monica, deputies actually just left the area of Camino de Oeste and Valencia Road. Not sure if that's any indication if the search is over. Authorities say this all started out as a domestic violence call. Tonight, new details from the Pima County Sheriff's Department indicate the deputy who was shot chased after the suspects. Authorities say sometime after 10 o'clock this morning at West Jeffrey and Mark Roads, deputies noticed the domestic violence suspect's car driving by. They say the suspect then tried to drive away, but ended up crashing into another car. Deputies say two males got out of the car and tried to run away. During the chase, the deputy who was, was shot in the leg, one suspect was arrested, but the other is still on the loose tonight. It's unsettling news for people living in this neighborhood. I talked to a couple who was just trying to return to their home, but could not because of the blockade in the area. One of them told me that other neighbors shared with them ongoing concerns about domestic violence from the same house, but authorities have not confirmed that. It's kind of scary to, to know that somebody on the loose right now, especially so close to home. Um, I'm kind of worried about my family right now. So the, apparently they're minors. Apparently it's just some past history um, and, you know, it hasn't stopped. And so it was just a lot of drama. The deputy who got shot is expected to recover. As we mentioned, he's recovering tonight at Banner University Medical Center. Live on the southwest side, Fetzerado News 4 Tucson. All right, Jafet, thank you.